Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW uh, 24 uh, Traders, and our website is www.stochastic-magd.com. For all trades, we'll use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss in all trades. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. Uh, all right, let's get started. Do not use this video as uh, a buy or sell signal. Take a valid uh, buy or sell signal using okay, your trading uh, tools. Let's get started. All right. The title of this video is uh, Forex uh, Trading on the Edge Part 4. Now, for us trading on the edge part one, we were okay discussing analyzing the euro USD currency pair. For us trading on the edge part two, we were analyzing the dollar yen currency pair. For us trading on the edge part three, we were analyzing the Australian dollar and the US dollar currency pair. In this video that we are calling Forex Trading on the Edge Part 4, we're going to focus on the pound on yen. Alright? So as I explained to traders before, alright, if you are for instance uh, okay in London and uh, you are an American, okay, you are American citizen, and you want to go to the American embassy. You do not have any friend in London, you do not okay understand anything about uh, uh, London okay very much this is the first time you're in London you may use uh, Google map okay to direct you uh, to the okay uh, the US Embassy all right so you want to go to the US Embassy you don't know how to get there but you can use Google map okay to get to okay the US Embassy if you are from uh, Saudi Arabia okay you are in London you want to get to the Saudi Arabia okay Embassy but you do not know anywhere in London you can use what we call the navigation tools, okay, to get to the embassy, all right? The same thing if you are, uh, okay, a British uh, citizen, all right, and you are in America, you want to get to, okay, the British embassy, okay, in the United States, you can use, okay, a navigation tool, Google Map, okay, TomTom, Tom, okay, to get you to where you want to go. The same thing, when we are day trading, when we are swing trading, we are position trading, we want to invest, all right? We want to use, okay, uh, what we call the navigation tool, the support, the resistance, and the key levels. Ladies and gentlemen, the price is always going from A to B. Now, as the price going up, the price will display higher lows and higher highs. But we want to know where is the B, the destination, where we want to get to. By understanding the market patterns, the rising channel, the declining channel, and horizontal channel, understanding the language of the price, that the price is always going from A to B. Either it's going down or it's oscillating, it's going from A to B. Now, by knowing the critical price level, by knowing the key levels, by knowing the equilibrium price levels, by knowing what the price is likely to do, okay, we can navigate through this messy market. All right? So this is the purpose of this video, and that's why I say to traders that this video that we are calling Forex Trading on the Edge, traders can always refer back to it. So for instance, if you're trading the Euro USD, you can go back to the Forex Trading on the Edge part one anytime to, to know what we have discussed so you do not get lost, all right? You do not make wrong decision, and you, can, you, you, you do not okay, uh, fight the market, but you want to flow with the market. All right, this is what we want to do, all right? So for the pound yen currency pair, we are comparing the economy of Great Britain, okay, United Kingdom, to the economy of Japan, all right? We are also comparing the sterling pound, which is the currency in London, to the yen, all right, the Japanese yen. That's what we are, we are doing. So we are talking about, talking about a pair. It's two currency pair, two currency that we are comparing, all right, the sterling and the yen. We are comparing them. So uh, what is affecting the economy in Japan, 
will affect the pound yen. What is affecting the economy in Great Britain will affect uh, the pound yen currency pair. But another thing I mentioned to traders last time, I hope you can remember that, is that the market is global. So though we are talking about the pound, the sterling pound and the yen, the market is global and is interconnected. So, <laughs> decisions that I make in the Eurozone, though we are not analyzing the Euro Pound or the Euro Yen, may also affect okay, uh, the Pound Yen currency pair. Decisions that I make in Canada, decisions that are affecting crude oil, okay, as I explained to you, crude oil is a market indicator, will also affect okay, uh, the Pound Yen. That's why we recommend to traders to use what we call the trading triangle. The market first, the sector before the individual financial instrument. The heart of the trading triangle is what? Okay, the market leaders, the economy news, all right, and the fundamental, which can quickly change the dynamics of the setup. What we are doing here, this is what we call a technical analysis. My recommendation to traders, traders who are following us, know what I'm about to say, is to combine the technical and the fundamentals, all right, because you are my friend. That's why I'm sharing this with you, because that's how the hedge funds are trading. That's how, okay, the pension funds are trading. That's how, okay, the institutional banks are trading. They do not use the technical loan, all right? They are also paying attention to the economy news. So, do not forget that uh, <laughs> this is a technical analysis. We must also use Forex Factory, www.forexfactory.com. To check the economy news, Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. All right, this is the best approach. Okay, so without further ado, further blah 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 from my side. Okay, let's start with uh, okay the re the core discussion today. The first thing I will sell to trainers is that as long as the pound, okay, yen stays below the level of one seven four five four. We will give priority to bearish signal. The level of 17454 is the high of the year 2013. According to the language of the price, if the price fails to display a new higher high, it is telling us that the bullish momentum is weakening. All right? So, what usually take place as a new year has begun, we always draw the high of last year, the low of last year, and the median high of last year. This will allow us what to navigate through the market and to make excellent decisions. So as you can see here, the level 17454 is uh, the red horizontal line here. As you can see, since the beginning of this year, okay, uh, the price did not, the, the price went above it a little bit. It's not visible here because my line is a little bit thick. It went up to the level of 17484 and quickly returned back below that level of 17454, which is confirming to us a bearish, okay, a momentum or a weakness in the bullish progression that was uh, in place before. You see here the price was above the first blue line here. It's, uh, it's still bullish like this. But as long as it's below the level 17454, it's a weakness of this uh, bullish momentum. So we will put a big question mark on this uh, bullish momentum. So the strategy will be very simple. So when we see a bearish signal at a resistance level below the level of uh, 17454, we will be willing to take it. Or if the price, pay attention, if the price is in a declining channel, declining channel is what? It's a market pattern. So here on a daily chart, I can join two points on my daily chart. This point and this point. We have a small bearish channel. Yes or no? Okay. Because I want you to understand this so you can do it yourself, whether you are trading stock, commodity, okay, or any or futures. So you see my small blue channel on my daily chart. Let's zoom into it. See this point and this point allow me because a high followed by a lower high, okay, allow me to draw my first line. Then I choose only one point here to make it parallel to my first line. So I have my bearish channel. So what is happening here? You see professional story here around another line here, the turquoise line. I will get back to that very soon. So we want to sell, we want to sell on the edge of the upper side of the channel or at a resistance level. That's why some traders sold it here. You see now? 
So primarily to sell signal does not mean that we, we sell anyhow. You can see that the price went up here. So if you want to sell, we want buyers to buy first. We want people to buy, okay? So they were buying, 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 and then no one wants to buy anymore. So the price reaches, reaches the highest level. Okay, so you want to sell, you want to sell at the best price. So if you see the price going up, you don't want to sell yet. You want, you want the price to peak first. This is what we are talking about. Reach a resistance level, a conversion point, a target point. Yeah, in this case, it reaches, if for instance, go up to this, and no one wants to buy anymore, it's stuck in front of resistance there, and we receive a sell signal, then we will sell at the best price. Okay? On the other hand, if you want to buy, we don't want to buy as the price is going down, we will, we will wait until it goes down, and no one wants to sell anymore. And if you receive a buy signal, and then we buy. Because we want to buy at the lowest price. We don't want to rush to buy. And then we regret that we buy too early and at the worst price. So remember that, okay? We will clarify that now, okay? So the first key level, 17454, the high of 2013, as long as we remain below it, if the price is declining, China City is here, prior to sell signal. The next key level, all right? Important level, the next junction, the next turnaround, all right? Remember the navigation, all right? Is at the level of a 17129, yeah. That's the turquoise line. This level, I am the only one that knows how to calculate, it, all right? Is the short-term equilibrium price level, all right? The short-term equilibrium price level is the short-term fair value of the financial instrument. The short-term fair value is valid for two weeks or so, all right, two weeks. So the current short-term equilibrium price level or the short-term fair value for this pound yen is at 17129. Professional notes it, you see here, price D below the turquoise line, pew, we test the lower part of the channel, try to go up to the edge of the declining channel, but was stuck on the edge of the turquoise line here. It's not by mistakes, all right? So when we are using the short-term equilibrium pass level, we also say that if the price is above the short-term equilibrium pass level and it's in a rising channel, we will look for opportunity to buy because if the price is going down, it will be in a rising channel. So we will use a top-down trading method always. So you see a setup on a daily chart, do not enter the trade on a daily chart, do not jump on it, do not trade the stochastic, trade the price itself. Okay, the stochastic will give us a warning, but we will uh, okay follow the price itself. As I was explaining to traders last time about uh, the two four SP trading material, one of the stochastic pattern I was telling traders that uh, if the stochastic was overbought and then he display he, and then he roll it down to be to display a low followed by a lower low, and at the same time the price uh, pull back to retest a prior resistance level is a bullish setup. But we are not trading the stochastic. The stochastic is giving us a warning, and then we will wait for the price using a top-down trading method to take the signal. Our eyes is constantly, constantly on the price itself. Okay. So the short-term equilibrium price level. That's the next level for our navigation. Navigation. Okay. <laughs> it is a pound yen. Okay. Is uh, 17129. Do not forget it. So today is uh, the 1st of February 2013. So that level will remain in place up to the 14th of February 20. Okay. Uh, 14. Then, okay, we will calculate the new uh, short term equilibrium price level. Okay. 17129. Note it down. Well, the price now below it at the edge, on the edge of uh, this, uh, okay, uh, bearish channel. Watch it. Okay. The next key level that professional are watching, okay, that, uh, okay, the best traders, the investors are watching, is the media line of 2014. I will go quick now to the yearly chart, so because uh, the media line, you see, this is the candle of 2013, the media line is the pink line here, all right, it's at uh, 15618. So, the price now below the short-term equilibrium, short equilibrium price level is also below the high of 2013. We say priority to sell signal. Good. But as the price going down, all right, the price is looking for, so to speak, 
for a better support level. The market has rejected the price at the high of 2013. They have also rejected the price at the short-term equilibrium price level. So what is the next okay, support level that the market will be happy to buy this uh, currency pair? We want to know. So as the price going down, we want to know where are the support level, but not any support level, the key support level, the most variable support level, okay, the most reliable support level, the level that will trigger okay, a buy signal, the level that okay, the commercial traders are watching, okay, the levels that can produce okay, a market sentiment change. All right? These are the levels that we are talking about, and one of them is the pink line here at 15618. Now you understand why I was saying to you that you can always go back to this video that we call Forex Trading on the Edge to see where are we now? Are we near the embassy, as I was giving to you, as an example, okay, for the navigation in the city of London using Google Map or any navigation tool? All right, you see now? So we want to know where are we now? Where is the next junction? Where is the next turnaround? Where is the next uh, uh, runabouts? Okay, where is the next, okay, a traffic light? Okay, this is what we are talking about. So we, when we are day trading or swing trading, we want to know these uh, junction, those uh, key levels, and one of them is a uh, one five six one eight. All right, that's the media line, okay, of the yearly range, the one five six one eight. So it's a psychological price level. So if the price is going down, okay, it's going down. People are selling, and it reaches a level of a one five six one eight. Everybody will be very careful because it's a thin dividing line between the bully zone and the bearish zone. By the way, I will refer traders to our website. Check the web page that we call Market Trading Zones. So here, okay, if the price come near the level one five six one eight, the bear that we're selling will quickly secure their gain. They either take profit, they will secure their gain. They will, be careful, they will become very careful, all right, because it can be very tricky to trade around this level, all right? So watch that level throughout the year if you trade the pound, yen, currency pair. By the way, I need to mention to new traders that if you are very, very new, do not trade the pound, yen, unless, okay, you are keeping your eyes on the price and you are not violating the market patterns. This currency pair is very volatile, can be very difficult for new traders, traders that are beginners, all right, be careful. Another thing I need to say to traders is that the pound yen is positively correlated to the euro USD, which is the leading currency pair. The euro dollar currency pair is the leading currency pair, and this pound yen very often will follow in the same direction uh, like the euro USD. So if the euro USD is going up, there is a high chance that uh, the pound yen also will go up. If the euro US is going down, there's a high chance that the pound yen also will be going down. So there is a, a correlation between the pound yen, okay, and the euro USD. That's what we call the correlation between currency pair. A lot of traders sometimes that are using the TSW24 who are forex traders, if they do not understand the correlation between currency pair, sometimes they get into trouble because they can go and take signal anyhow, and they get into trouble. All right. That's what we say to traders. If you take a trade and you have some difficulties, contact us and we can say something small to you and that can change, okay, your trading skills. All right? It makes sense? It's also a powerful, okay? So the, if you want to use the correlation in this case, so for instance, if I receive a clear cut, a sell signal for the Euro USD on the edge, then I will say, well, this is a, a high probability trade setup for the Euro USD. Now, I will go also and check before. So the Euro USD give a sharp signal, which is a high probability trade setup. At the best time of the day, first two hours when the market is open. Okay, I want to take it. Okay, I take that trade. Now I'll come and check the pound yen. If the pound yen also give me a clear cut sell signal, I will be willing to take it too. So I have two trades in the same direction. Which can be, which is a risky trade because you are trading two okay financial instruments in the same direction. 
all right so you may decide to use some hedging okay some protection that's why i see stop loss five percent money management rules or use a hedging okay we'll talk about hedging in another time that's a different issue all right you understand all right the next key level apart from uh, because uh, the, the 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 media line is dividing okay the market into two zones the zone above uh, the media line the pink line is bullish but we are not bullish now because the price has failed to display a new high high though we are the bullish zone we are selling you see now so because the price is going up fast okay and now it caps it has stopped going up he failed to display a new higher high. So we are selling now. As I show you on the daily chart, we see now that the momentum, okay, is changing. How do we know? How do we know the momentum is changing? How do we know? The channels. The channels. So it was first going above this uh, blue line. You see the first blue line, bullishly, bullishly. Now we see a very small channel. So as it's rolling it down near okay it's not below the short of equilibrium price level if it's rolling it down more the first challenge is uh, this uh, first blue straight line with this point pay attention this point and this one here this point and this one here allow me to draw my first uh, blue trail line so as we are now in a declining channel you see now it's on the edge here professional watching it they may push it down to retest uh, the trend line here all right so careful, there's a, a trend line here. Though we are selling in a small declining channel like this, there is a bullish, bullish trend line here. If it breaks below that uh, first blue line, all right, the next level is the media line, 15618. If that level also is kaput, all right, or obsolete, the next key level is uh, the, the second trend line joining this point and this point joining this point and this point allow me to draw the second blue line which is still here intact are you with me all right so though we have the first key level 17454 the high of 2013 the short-term equilibrium price level 17129 do not forget the first blue trend line followed by the uh, the the media line 15618 then the second blue trend line right here all right and if that one also fell if the second blue trend line fell we are now heading to the third or for the, to the last uh, a, a key level the last key level is at a one three seven zero four let me double check that again no that's not what i want that's that's not the level i want i will uh, change this one now Moment, please, traders. It's a one three seven eight a three. That's the level I'm looking for. One three seven eight three. That's the low of the year 2013. One three seven eight three. So if uh, the second blue line fell to hold the price, all right, we are back to one. With the next key level that we must work. There are other support level here. You see horizontal line do not do not close your eye to them be aware of them the horizontal line here there are other level there but we are talking about key level essential key level important key level and the next one here is a one three seven eight a three that's the low of the year uh, 2013 because as this new year has begun 2014 professional know the high of 2013 the media line of 2013 and the low of 2013 decisions will be made around those key level throughout this year of 2014 and you want to know also all right so now as it's rolling it down we know that there's a trend line here on the daily chart if that is kaput and it will price D below it and then come back and retest it and we we'll see a sell signal or if it continues nicely in the declining channel to if it's if it stay in the channel rolling it down watch this first blue line if it's just D below it we can roll it down to the 15618 which is the media line but the opposite is also true though we are talking about bearish signal all right if the music has changed or oh, the move must change true ladies and gentlemen the move must change all right this is to get your attention so if the music has changed which means 
the prior return back above, okay? The short term equilibrium pass level out of for uh, this uh, small blue tri channel. So if it's come out of it, yeah, out of this channel, you want it to. If you want to buy, we will prefer it. We will prefer it because we are conservative trader. We prefer it to come out of the bearish channel, this uh, small channel, and to pull back and retest the short term equilibrium price level 17129 and to give us a clear cut buy signal on the edge right here. That will be the best place to look for opportunity to buy. But as things stands now, if we are buying for day trading purposes, or right, because there's a support here now, yeah, if we are buying like you see on the edge like this, we are careful because we know that the momentum is bearish. So we want to grab some pips very fast. These are contra trend. You see, it went up a bit. These are contra trend because mm, professional want to sell. So if it's going up like this, yes, you'll see someday you say, George, what the f All right, I don't want to use the F word. What the hell are you talking about? This word, I don't like to use them. What are you talking about, George? The price is going up for three days. But believe me, professional want to sell. See, three days to, okay, the right place and they sold it. All right, they want to sell. They want to sell on the edge. So, so if you are buying, you receive a buy signal for day trading purposes, and the price still in this uh, blue channel, be careful, okay? So watch it carefully, don't forget it, okay? That's what I want you to remember. All right, so talking about the pound yen, we are comparing the economy in, in Great Britain to the economy of Japan. In Great Britain, as I warned traders last year, the United Kingdom economy is a very resilient economy. So sometimes people talk about a lot of bearish stuff about this economy. I live in this country for years, and I can tell you this economy is very resilient. All right. So do not write off completely the pound. All right. You do not write off. So if you are selling the pound, which we are doing now because this is the pound yen, what we are doing, we are selling the pound. If this currency pair is going down, what we are doing, we are selling the pound and we are buying the yen. If this currency pair is going up, what we are doing, we are buying the yen, uh, we, are, we are selling the yen, all right? If it's going up, we are selling the yen and we are buying the pound. You remember that, okay? So pound yen going down means that, uh, okay, we are selling the pound and we are buying the yen. Pound yen is going up, we are buying the pound and we are selling the yen. That's what we are doing, okay? So remember that. So, as I'm telling you now, the economy in the United States, because there are a lot of job creation, but these are short-term job creation. Uh, these are not jobs that people will build a mansion from. So if you get what I mean, a uh, lot of job creation going on, but these are not, uh, okay, uh, okay? job for families to to raise your family to buy a house to do everything a lot of job creation is going on all the time in london so you will see from time to time uh, the unemployment they will they will bring it down one way or another they were also busy cutting uh, okay social benefit for long term uh, okay um okay uh, uh non uh unemployed people so uh, myself um uh, it went a little bit too far, but uh, other issues going on. And the gap between the rich and the poor is increasing in London. Um, that's another issue completely. Uh, but uh, the economy in London is very resilient. In Japan, the strategy that uh, they want to adopt is to devalue the yen. Because uh, during the, the quantitative easing period, when the Fed was busy printing the dollar, I was telling to trade that what the Japanese were waiting for. They should have been busy also devaluing the yen at the same time, but they didn't do anything. All right. So now the Fed, as they, they were devaluing the, the, the dollar, the money was going away from the U.S. to okay other economy. So people were buying the yen. So the yen was going up. That's why the U.S. the yen was going down. So people were selling the dollar and were buying the yen. So the the, the yen was going up. Was going up going on what's going on is that the goods from japan will become too expensive so this has affect their exports a lot i don't know whether they were dreaming or they were sleeping when all this was going on 
till a point that uh, suddenly they wake up and uh, they, they say that now we want to devalue the yen. And they do it aggressively, which is completely mad. They, they push, they push, uh, in fact, uh, this creates too much distortion. I need to get this out of my chest, uh, bear with me. They push uh, the, uh, the yen down very fast. I never see anything like that. All right, that's why we see, okay, the dollar yen was going up like man. They distorted our beautiful alien wave pattern. They create all sorts of things. Push, 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 push. They want to divide the yen in one day until even, okay, the International Monetary Fund and other countries get a bit upset and they say, guys, hold it, hold it. What, what are you doing? All right. They tell them off. They say to them, don't do that. You don't do it that way. So what the Fed has done, okay, over three years or four years, the Japanese came up and they just push it up. I'm not talking about the Japanese people. I'm talking about a Japanese government. Uh, Japanese because government has changed. Okay, so this is what's going on. So, all right. So if you are Japanese, okay, we are all friends, so... It's a Japanese government. So this one has happened. So now that the Fed has said that, okay, guys, we're going to start what we call the tapering of uh, quantitative easing because we're going to stop uh, buying bonds. We're going to stop pushing money into the stock market. And, uh, okay, we want all the money that went away from the United States to return back to the United States. And the Fed was busy saying it for a long time, and the market is aware of it. All right. So as this is going on, this will have also some effect, okay, on the pound yen, because in that case, money will flow out of uh, the stock market, and there's a high chance, okay, that uh, okay, people will will put those money in other assets. Okay, that's why I said to traders that we must constantly pay attention to economy news. Decisions that are made in Japan, United States, in Europe, in Great Britain will affect the currency pair or most of the financial instruments because the market is global. To summarize this video to traders, the purpose of this video is uh, to give traders a guidelines, a roadmap that they will use throughout this year, 2014, to navigate through the forex market, trading especially uh, the pound or yen. We have highlighted that the price now below the high of 2013, as long as the price remains below the level of 17454, we will give priority to search signal, provided that the price is in a declining channel. The next key level that we want to watch is the short-term equilibrium price level, 17129, which will remain in place for two weeks. As the price is going down, the price is looking for a better support level, we must pay attention to the blue uh, trend lines that I've drawn here. All right? We also highlight the median line of the 2013, 15618, that is a psychological price level. All right? A thin dividing line between the bully zone and the berry zone. So as the price is rolling it down, we watch all the support level and to verify whether the power will find the support at them or not. Okay? All right? If the price violated all the, 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 the support level, the prior of support level, the trend line, okay, the key level, the last support level is the 13783, that's the low of uh, uh, 2013. So right now, the price in a declining channel on the daily chart. If you want to sell, we want to sell at the key resistance level, at the resistance level. So bring it up to retest the edge of the decline channel or bring it up to okay, a resistance level. You want to try to go up far up to a resistance level and if you receive the sell signal, we use a top-down trading method okay, to enter the trade. I hope I've said enough okay, that it it makes sense for you that you find it useful that you put into use okay to make an excellent uh, a trading decision until the next time enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy we are the gstw uh, 24 uh, traders I speak to you soon